question one the table shows some values of x and the corresponding values of y there's a linear relationship between x and y which of the following equations represents that relationship so let's find the slope first so m is 24 minus 14 by 10 minus 5 so 10 by 5 which is 2 so a and b are out and y is equal to 2x plus c will be the equation so if i put this 14 is equal to 10 plus c so c is 4 so y is 2x plus 4 the graph of the exponential function is shown for what value of x is fx0 so you can see that uh, fx is 0 here when x is 4 What value of x is the solution to the given equation? So that's 56. The function g is defined by this. What is the value of gx when x is 1? So 2 into 1 plus 1. So that's 3. The graph shown models the value in dollars of an investment account over time after an original amount is deposited according to the graph how many years does it take for the value of the investment to double so from 100 to 200 which is this point 12 years right is it 12 12 14 16 no 14 14 years In 1845, a family had $18 to purchase flour and bacon for their trip along the Oregon Trail to California. The graph shows the possible combinations. What was the price of 100 pounds of flour? Okay. So let's say uh, in hundreds of pounds, right? So they let's say they buy 900 pounds of flour. So for 900 pounds of flour, they end up paying $18. So for 100 pounds of flour, they will end up paying $2, right? So that's option B. The given equation relates the distinct positive real numbers, which equation correctly expresses T in terms of Q, R, and S. So R to the power Q is T to the power S. So T will be R to the power Q by S. R to the power Q by S, option A. Which polynomial is equivalent to this? X squared plus 7 into 12x cubed minus 6. So 12x to the power 5 minus 6x squared plus 84x cubed minus 42. So 12x to the power 5 plus 84x cubed minus 6x squared minus 42. What is the graph of the equation? x plus 2 whole squared minus 4. So the vertex of this parabola is minus 2 minus 4. Here the vertex is at uh, minus 2 comma 0. Here it is at plus 2 comma 0. Here it's 2 comma minus 4. Here it's minus 2 comma minus 4. In the given function, P is graphed in the xy plane, where y is px, what is an x-intercept of the graph? So there will be three x-intercepts, minus 1, minus 2, and minus 3. So minus 3, comma 0. One of the two linear equations in a system is given. The system has no solution. Which equation could be the second equation? So the second equation will have the same slope, but a different uh, y intercept making the lines parallel so 3x plus 9 would be the answer 
3x plus 12 is the same as this, so that would have infinite solutions. And 4x plus 12 and 4x plus 16 will have unique solution because the slopes are not the same. Which expression is equivalent to sine 50? So sine theta is cos 90 minus theta, so cos 40. Triangle KLM is shown and is similar to triangle RST. For these triangles, R and S correspond to K and L respectively. And RS is 3KL. Which of the following statements is true? Okay, so R corresponds to K. I'll just draw it. It's a bigger triangle, right? R corresponds to K and S corresponds to L. R, S, T. Okay. And RS is 3KL. Okay. Measure of angle R is 45. Uh, no, measure of angle R is 15. The same as this. So this is true. And ST is 60. Yeah, ST will be 60 because each side here will be three times the corresponding side here. So statement two is true. Kyra uses her propane grill for an average of 11 hours each week. Her grill can run an average of 18 hours per 20 pound tank. She would like to reduce her weekly expenditure on propane by $5, assuming propane costs $16 per 20 pound tank. Which equation can Kyra use to determine how many fewer average hours she should use her grill each week? Okay, so she uses it for 11 hours, right? And it runs for 18 hours on a 20 pound tank, right? Uh, now she wants to reduce her expenditure by $5. Uh, yeah. And $16 per 20 pound tank, right? Uh, okay. So first of all, uh, this is per week, right? Uh, and she wants to reduce her weekly expenditure. Okay. So um, how much does she? One 20 pound tank runs for 18 hours, right? And of which she uses 11. So how many, how much is she paying for that? Uh, for 18 hours, she would pay $16. So for 11 hours, she would pay 16 by 18 into 11, right? And now she wants to, this is how much she wants to, now uh, she wants to reduce it by $5. So she wants to uh, end up paying how many fewer? So let's say she ends up paying X hours. So that will be 16 by 18 into X. and the difference uh, 11 minus x is h, which would be uh, 16 by 18 into uh, 11 minus x. Wait, am I doing something? Number of hours and this is dollars. Uh, yeah, this is the number of hours. And she's paying 16 by 18 into 11 dollars. And here it would be, yeah. So 16, this is, um, yeah, yeah, this is five, correct, right? And yeah, so 16 by 18, H is five. So H is five into 18 by 16. 16 by 18 H is five, yeah, so that's D. Okay, uh, two root X into root Y to the power two by five. Okay, so this would be the fifth root of two square into X Y. So the fifth root of four X Y, right? Fifth root of four X Y, option B. Oh, so there's a negative here. So let me redo this. Hmm. 
So this is actually uh, two root x minus root y to the power two by five. So that would be fifth root of two root x minus root y square. So that's four x plus y minus four root x y. Four uh, x plus y minus four root x y. Yeah, and this you can write as 4x plus y minus 4 root xy to the power 1 by 5 because it's the fifth root. Okay, what is the positive solution to the given equation? 5 absolute value of 4 minus x is 25. So absolute value of 4 minus x is 5. So 4 minus x is plus minus 5. So x is 4 minus plus 5, which is minus 1 and 9. So the positive solution is 9. Function is minus 2x plus 8. What is the value of? Okay, so 0 is minus 2x plus 8. So 2x is 8. So x is 4. The solution is x comma y. What is y? Um, Okay, so let's just subtract nine minus six, three. So X is one by three. And then let's put one by three. So two minus Y is minus four. So Y is six. One solution to the given equation is this. What is the value of N? So using the discriminant formula, uh, we get um, 3 plus minus 9 minus 4 by 2. So 3 plus minus root 5 by 2. So n is 5. The measure of angle A is 7 by 12 pi radians greater than the measure of angle B. How much greater is the measure of angle A than the measure of angle B in degrees? Okay. So pi radians is 180 degrees so 7 pi by 12 radians will be 7 by 12 into 180 uh, 15 6 1 0 5 degrees okay let's grade this question one Uh, C, D, D, A, D. C, D, D, A, D. Number six. B, A, C, D, B. B, A, C, D, B. Eleven. A, B, B, D, C. A, B, B, D, C. And nine four six five one zero five nine four six five one zero five. 